I say a little something you might see now three coins, a half dollar. This is a uh, Las Vegas commitment of coins, one of the casinos there. And I believe this is a 50 uh, something or other Pakistan coin. Yeah, so that's uh, three coins. Now, if I were to close these up in my hand, you couldn't see what I was doing. But if I uh, hold these out to the fingertips, you know, there'd be no cheating. Well, not too much anyway. If I wave like that, the first coin will vanish from the uh, left hand and appear on the right. So that's two in the left hand and one in the right. Or is that uh, one in the uh, left hand and two in the right? So just remember well, that's uh, one left over here and that's two away. What's the last coin that's going to jump over and join the two like that? But uh, not yet. Last one. I give it a little squeeze and a little shake, and the last and final coin, the silver dollar, arrives over here, and that's all three. So that's three coins. They vanish from one hand and they appear in the other. Thank you. So they went just a little bit fast when I did that. So tell you what, I'll slow it down just a little bit so you can see. Remember, that's the two foreign coins, and I'll set them there with the uh, with the half dollar. I give the first one the squeeze, and the uh, first one jumps over. That's the brass coin. A little shake, a little squeeze, and the second one jumps over. So that's two. That's uh, two foreign coins there. The last one. Let's go. The last one. Give a squeeze. Oops. Sorry, it uh, backfired. When you do that, then suddenly all three jump back over here into the right hand. In fact, to what? I'll make this a little bit uh, more possible. I'll also use the pocket. Yeah. Hopefully, they're going to jump down and arrive into the pocket. We have a one, two, and three coins. So I'll leave them right here in the hand. And I just give a little squeeze when I do that. The first one arrives over here. If I can find it. Oh, yeah, yeah there it is. That's the uh, uh, copper coin. Right there. I'll do it again. I give it a second wave and a second squeeze, and the second one jumps over here. That leaves me just the half here. Silver dollar, I'm sorry. That silver dollar here. That's two down the pocket. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the last one the hard way, actually. I'll squeeze that. And that's all three back in the hand. So that's three coins here. They vanish from here, and they arrive back over here in the pocket. We're working with three coins. A silver dollar, a Peruvian coin. Oh, that's not Peruvian, that's a East Pakistan coin, actually. It's a copper. And a brass coin, a uh, commemorative Las Vegas coin. And uh, if you want to, we can touch that. Use one of these, that's the sub spot. I found out that if I take like this and give them a snap, because the first coin, the half dollar, to melt right through the table. That coin went single like there, so I'll try to get the other two. Go across the two left. Two left. They also melt through the table. I tried to do the uh, brass one next. It's about yeah. It's about right there. That's the uh, it's the brass coin. That's two. That leave me with one left to go. That's the uh, that's the Peruvian coin. Okay, I'll try to find it's located about. Oh, yeah, there it goes. So, now that's one at a time. Because so, I can do them singly like that, or I can do them one at a time. But I, I'll show you what I mean. I'll try to do it one last time for you, a little bit slower this time. But then one at a time, go something like this. Push. And the uh, first one goes through. You push again. And the, uh, the second one goes through. That's two. That's two. Have it gone. One left to go. It goes the last one. I just give it a push. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Backfired. My dad, it jumps back. Oh. Of course, you know, it was supposed to uh, go down through the table like that. Oops, so that's all three. Thank you. International matrix set with the uh, use of the coins. So it's, it goes like this. These four coins, a uh, 
East African coin, a Chinese coin, a, it's going here to a dollar, and a, a mint coin, Bill Crow's Mint. What we do is we'll cover each card with a, a coin, just like this. The first coin, I give the first coin a snap. When I do that, the first one will vanish from here. Jump over. Or when they ride by his friend. So that's the Chinese coin that's joined the half dollar. I mean, the silver dollar, right there. Right. I'll leave me two left to go. This is the East African coin and the uh, mint coin. So I give them a snap, like that. The next coin, the uh, mint coin, will jump over. That's, that's number three. What's the last one? Copper coin, a little snap, like that. And the last coin will jump over, and that's four. So that's one, two, three, and four coins right there. Of course, you know, if you steal the back of two blocks, you can probably tell this whole thing was just an illusion. Never actually happened. Only used for a coin. But I don't know what everybody's just going to do this. Yeah, sure, kid. Uh, can you go? It's only two cards. Okay, look, two cards were. Uh, Place them down like this. And remember the uh, silver dollar. Be the first one. So, what's the first one? I give a little squeeze, it runs over and arrives over there. That's the brass. It's the brass coin right here. Here goes the uh, next one, the Easter coin. I give a snap. I do that, the East African coin arrives over, and that's threes. So that's one, two, three. Here, one left to go. Is there last one, the Chinese coin. I do a squeeze like that, the Chinese coin shall arrive over here. Oops, sorry, there. No, it jumps back. Okay, now we're down to one card. This is the part that's really scary for me. Remember, that's up uh, to a dollar. Over here, the first coin, the brass coin, I give it a squeeze, and the first coin, the brass coin arrives over here. It goes to the second one, I give the second one a little squeeze, and the uh, second one arrives over, so that's three. Okay, so that's one, that's two, and that's three that over here. One left to go, that's the Chinese coin, just a little squeeze. Chinese coin will jump down. Oops, sorry. Again, you all went back. Thank you. This routine is called uh, uh, Merlin the Alchemist. You see, I found out uh, how Merlin the Magician actually used to change one currency to another. He used a tuning fork because it caused the molecules on one coin to change to molecules and other coin just by the vibrational quality. Look, I'll demonstrate this phenomena to you. Uh, you like to no Peruvian coin, it's no brass coin right here. You see, I would just take and wave it over there, but just a little bit, and say I wanted to like a Chinese coin. I just think of a Chinese coin there. See, and it would look just like a Chinese coin. So now if I uh, but the tape of the, the top of the second time there in this squeeze you could actually get it to look like a, say a uh, old Pakistan uh, coin right there so there will be t there will be two if I wiggle just a few seconds and top it again I could actually pick it up and it would change to an old brass uh, coin of course I haven't been working on gold yet but working on silver if I could just uh, happen like that. It would change into the uh, silver coin. You see, and that's how the operation actually worked, you see. Uh, I threw it in one day and the guy said, yeah, kid, but can you do gold? So, well, I haven't tried it yet, but I did what, just for you. I'll try. I'll give it a snap like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. And there it is. That's the uh, last and final one. That's the gold coin. Thank you.